Among the various colors of nature, perhaps my least favorite color is brown. With the arrival of spring, we want the trees to bloom, the migratory birds to come and the weather to gradually get better. I don't know in which part of the world you live, but where I am, spring has started to make itself felt slowly. The trees may have bloomed, some of the migratory birds have arrived, but the weather, on the contrary, is always misty and dark. The sun never shows its face to us. In such weather, nature takes on a brown tone. The one I dislike the most. As I often do, I went outside to spend time in nature again. I drove into the mountains for a while. I think there is a little more time for nature to come out of that brown tone it is in and turn into more beautiful tones. The landscape you see now looks so wonderful in the beautiful spring months that you cannot stop looking at it. Now, unfortunately, it looks a bit brown tones. I don't know. Maybe it just seems that way to me. How do you see? The color of this lake is normally a great blue, but right now it doesn't look that great either. There is no sound in the forest area, where woodpeckers and small songbirds abound. The last time I came here was last year. Let's go a little further and see what we can see. It is an old structure built on rocks. I don't know when it was built or by whom. Maybe in the next days I will go out there and see what's up. Even the water has turned brown. Very boring. Birds are not in sight. The storks I saw last year have also come this year. I think one of them went hunting. Their nests are in a very nice spot. They chose a place that is safe and close to the water. I am looking for the bird species I have seen in the past years, but unfortunately I can't find them. Oh my god, when will this sun show its face? The flowers over there make a beautiful display. The name of the old structure you see on that hill is Ma Arong Monastery. It is located at an altitude of 1,386 meters and is said to have been built in 219 AD. Saint Ma Arong is an Assyrian seer and was born in the Saruk district of Shan Lefa. It is said to be called the Ma Arong because it has 56 miracles. Saint Ma Arong healed the sick daughter of the Roman Emperor Constantine I, and accordingly, the emperor offered Saint Ma Arong half the empire. On the other hand, Ma Arong asked Constantine the Great to build a monastery on the holy mountain where he lived. Such is the history of the monastery's construction. I took these images from a great distance, 
so it may not look very good. For this reason, I apologize. I will come here again in the future to see the monastery closely. Then I hope I can show you more beautiful images. For now, let me show you some of the photos I found online. As I said before, I will come back to this monastery and see it up close later. There is no road to the monastery anyway. I think you have to walk 3 to 4 kilometers. There are many apricot trees in this region. A little bit of bird sound can be heard over those hills. This is a promising development. But I can't see them. Now I am going back the way I came. There is a nice pond right on the side of the road. I passed through the apricot trees. In the stork nest I just viewed, I now see two storks. The wife of the stork has arrived and the two of them are organizing their nest together. This is their breeding season. They will raise their young and go back to Afika with the autumn migration. A freight train with its red locomotive greets us in this brown nature. The scenery is beautiful here, but it will be even more beautiful in the summer. It's a closed and boring atmosphere right now. By the way, I forgot to tell you. I saw two Egyptian vultures and two long-legged buzzards flying over the mountains on the left, but they were too far away so I could not get a good view. Apart from these, swallows and swifts were flying around here. Here, in the past years, I have seen a wide variety of birds, from herons to partridges, but unfortunately I can't see anything at the moment. Here, the direction of the stream bed may have changed or it may have naturally changed on its own.
That's it for today dear viewers. Take care of yourselves. In the next chapter, I hope I will meet you with many bird species and beautiful nature scenes. Goodbye.